have to alter it somehow. Oh, wait, watch as well because that pistons move about. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll cut a bit out and make a, like a strap, and we could actually strap the pump down to it. One of here. Because when you think about it, the whole thing's attached to the tractor. Really, how far forward's that got to go? Take measure and measure the distance. Seven. See, it's fifty. Fifty-seven millimeters away, so we'll have to disconnect it and see what it comes out as. where it's supposed to be. And it's gonna be forty two millimeters. Yeah, needs to come forward 15 millimetres of where it was. So that might work out quite well because if we we can cut a bit out of here and then make a like a hook for it and then we can use this to make a strap over it and hold it in place. Yeah, the only thing is the pipes come out the side. So I'll just cut that bit out, out all together. And it come forward. I think I'll cut it on a V so it uh, it's something to sit. Right, I'll bring you back once we've done that because it's just gonna load of sparks. I've, uh, I've cut out a bit there, whether it's big enough or not, I'm not sure, but I'll give it a pour. Yeah, it's big enough, so 
That's okay, that's going to sit there, but that, that might work quite well. Because... Yeah. I'm going to put one of the grub screws in just to keep it in the position so we can measure up what we need. I think I'm going to drill these a wee bit deeper as well so there's more bite in them. Use the original bracket that came with the pump, and then we can weld it on here and here, and, that'll, and then we'll put something underneath to give that strength. I don't think the piston moves far enough to. with the original pump was anyway. So what we're going to do is, this is the original bracket. I could actually use it. Could we? I suppose if we cut it back we could customise it to go here. But I think what we'll do is we'll just cut the front off and weld it onto the the two bits there and then we'll put a plate underneath to re-strengthen that I think. Uh, might even try and get some kind of movable mounting so there's a bit of wobble in the the pump for it turning. A bit, of, a bit of play in the PTO itself, so should be okay. So I'm just cut. Actually, what I'll do is I'll cut the cut this at the edges. I might actually keep a bit. Where's that go? Yeah, I think we'll keep it maybe a bit half an inch to give it a bit more strength. I've, uh, I've cut out this original mountain bracket down quite a bit now but uh, that's the way I'm going to put it in and then we'll get the two bolts through here and here and then because it's open at the top it'll just be a matter of taking out the two bolts and the PTO can come out then uh, I'm going to weld that plate on under underneath here again just to strengthen it yeah that's like I say, I'm going to weld a I'm going to close this cap again. Not sure if we're either far into it now. I want to see. Yeah, there is a thing there. What I could do is I could just close it at the top. I could weld this bit back in actually, but just move it forward a bit. That's what I'll do. And I'll just, I can weld this plate on. So, bit more grinding and stuff and I'll bring you back and I'll be well I've made up this bracket and <coughs> just tack welded it on just now PTO it doesn't seem to be moving a little bit as it turns but I think we'll be okay might put some rubber washers in or something let's so it can move a wee bit so I'm going to remove it it just gets back here and I can lift it out uh, with the PTO extension attached. So I'm just going to take it out all together and then get this welded up. I welded the bit back in the bottom there and uh, we welded this in, it'll add to the strength as well. So there's quite a lot of force from side to side here I would imagine with the two two big pistons there pushing it. You get piston here and piston here that uh, slew your bra. Move that back and forth. 
sort of side to side movement. See that. Oh, yeah, I cut them out because it was seized, wasn't it? Isn't this going to be a long project? I've got uh, new bolts to put in as well. Japanese M15 plus M16. Anyway, they'll be, they'll be fine. I shouldn't think that holes, it's drilled, so M16 will go into it anyway. <coughs> so, that's uh, next job to get the pump out of there and uh, finish welding. And that's the pump mounted. Whether it's a good place or not, I don't know. It should be okay, I think. Like I say, we might get put some kind of mounts on that will let it move a wee bit. But as it is, I can get it out of there. Uh, with nothing being above it, I deliberately left this space open. So, I'll weld them in solid next. Going away to try out our new uh, socket thing. Impact. <coughs> Ear wrench. Provided not the box fits with the wheels. <laughs> I've got eight new bolts, I just decided I would renew them all. That's four at the back, four at the front. It wasn't washers on the original one, so 
Well, Whitten Island wasn't that soon anyway, so not much. I'm hoping I never need to take it to bits again. But you know what, like all things are, they break. Uh, we're just going to leave the fuel pump for now. I've got some um, Loctite coming, so I'm going to Loctite it together and I'm going to alter the Woodruff key as well because I don't think there'll be enough grip to give it a turning force. It'll just keep letting go, I think. So I'm going to get this arm off and see if we can alter it. I did think about making a bracket all in one, but it's a lot of steel, so we'll probably just alter what we've got and add to it if we need to. Oil. play in that. Disconnect it to this valve. The, the two outside ones do the uh, the feet. Let's see what happens. Which one's which? The bottom goes to the bottom, so you should remember that. that one attached I think. I think what I'll have to do is uh, see if any of the hoses are still sound and then replace them as needed because there's a lot of them. Oh, no. 
too much in here. Right, hope that's wrong with it. Thank you. Well, that one snapped in half. Might have to grind out some of the pins and make new ones. Move to <laughs> that's the new problem, which is the one that might push it out. Hopefully. Thank 
do. Right, put a single tire up and I think well, it won't matter because we'll be once I get a tight. <laughs> right, you can see the movement on this. You can knock that through with the woman. Spot the woman. Oh, an oval shaped. I don't think this is a very young machine. But I think it's a very old machine. So what I want to do now is get that to sit like that. So when it comes up it misses the misses uh, the back wheel. Options are to move every weld a bit on here, but then that's going to interfere with that. could weld a plate and just move everything sideways or we can angle everything either way everything's going to need to be cut off so that would be, there's quite a bit of room there for that to come over here putting that out there it's quite far out that only needs to move a couple inches if we go for there Into that. Four inches. That's going to get that right out to there. Mm. 
well, they're all going to be cut off, and I'll have to cut them all off anyway. I, mean, I thought you could maybe just cut a bit out and bent it, but that's not going to work with that. This one can stay where it is. Yeah, it can go back where it is, I mean, and we'll get where I'm going. This is going to need to be turned. This is going to need to be turned. I think I've kept everything too far forward, but I, I wanted it to be as far forward as possible, so it was on the, uh, the subframe. And that, uh, so far the weight hasn't affected the steering, so it seems to be in quite a good place. Uh, right, I'm just going to be cutting and grinding, so I'll bring you back when I get a bit further.